Hello everybody, Curious Corduroy here, and over the weekend, a mysterious countdown timer showed up on the Capcom-Games.com website. Before we speculate on what this could mean, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you don't, click the dislike, that's cool too. Um, <laughs> but over the weekend, this mysterious countdown timer showed up around Sunday night, close to midnight. And it's got people speculating as, you know, what's going on? Is there a really major announcement coming? in regards to either Capcom as a whole or some of their more popular IPs. Uh, the more sillier things are people speculating that this is a countdown timer to announce that they've been purchased by another company like Sony or Microsoft. In my previous podcast, I talked about all of the ways that I wouldn't want that to happen or some of the things that I'd be cool with, but I don't think that Capcom of all companies would release a countdown timer to announce that they've been purchased by somebody. That just seems kind of weird. The second idea is that it could potentially be Resident Evil related. Now they are working on Village DLC for Resident Evil 8. I believe it's supposed to star Lady D. When they announced it last year, it was in pretty early stages. They didn't even have any footage to show. So it could potentially be something Village related. But some people are pointing out that this countdown clock will end on President's Day. <laughs> in what Resident Evil game involves the president? Resident Evil 4. You're saving the president's daughter in Resident Evil 4. So could this potentially be a just fun little cheeky way to announce that Resident Evil 4 Remake is in fact going to officially be announced. We've heard rumblings and rumors for so long about this game and the development process and how it's going to be slightly different from the original, so that is always an option. However, the biggest, most believable theory is that this is probably going to be something related to Street Fighter, uh, potentially Street Fighter 5 or even Street Fighter 6. I know that game has had a really long and troubled development cycle. They've been working on it for so long <laughs> that they had to actually extend the life of Street Fighter 5 with uh, all of the DLC that came out last year while they continue to work on Street Fighter 6. The biggest thing though is that a lot of people online have pointed out that this countdown timer will actually end on the very last day of the Capcom Cup. So it's most likely leaning towards a Street Fighter 5 or 6 type announcement. I think worst case scenario, it's a new version of Street Fighter 5, which, you know, like a complete edition that has all of the DLC in it. But at best, I really would love to see something Street Fighter 6 related. But I would really love to see what direction they're going to go for the future of Street Fighter. Um, Luke from Street Fighter V, who is the last piece of DLC, could be a really good indicator as to where they're going to go with this franchise. The biggest thing I would love to see from a Street Fighter VI, though, is something visually new. Um, I would really love to have this game look different, have a different visual identity. You could even, you know, go the route of something like Arc Systems, where you have a Guilty Gear or a DNF Duel, where you, or even Dragon Ball Z Fighters, where you have this really stylized, beautiful anime aesthetic to your game and getting back to that for street fighter could potentially be really really cool i think about you know the street fighter alpha series and how beautiful those games are so i would personally really love to see them go back to that anime type style or you could adopt the re engine and do like a hyper realistic version of street fighter with an incredibly powerful engine powering it um, I think either way, the RE engine is going to be involved. It's just a matter of what art style they decide to go with. So, at worst, I think this is probably going to be like a Street Fighter V Complete Edition. Um, and at best, it could potentially be something Resident Evil or Street Fighter VI related. Or, and I do not want to wish this <laughs> into existence, is Capcom announcing that they're going to get into NFTs. <laughs> I really, really hope that that's not the case. I don't know why you would have a countdown timer for disappointment but that's always a possibility as well. Um, there's also been a few rumblings about more Resident Evil things. I guess the Resident Evil splash page portal has added some new content. There's some new hidden clues that people are looking for. So again, it could either be Resident Evil or Street Fighter related, but that Capcom Cup ending on the day that this you know, countdown clock expires, that makes the most sense. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I would really love to hear your guys' ideas and theories in the comments below. Do you think this is Street Fighter related? Is it Resident Evil related? Are they bringing back Marvel vs. Capcom? Is it Monster Hunter related? I would really love to hear insane theories as to what this countdown clock could potentially mean. And again, if you like the video, click the like button. If you don't, dislike, that's cool too. If you want more gaming news, you can subscribe to my channel. I do podcasts where I talk about random gaming stuff. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.